Hello audience, my name is Lucy. Lucy wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Lucy would like to welcome you for visiting and here is the official news. Follow me. One, Jennifer Lopez reveals whether she is dating again after Ben Affleck split Jennifer Lopez, who split from Ben Affleck in April and filed for divorce in August, has stated that she is not currently dating anyone. In an interview with Interview magazine, she emphasized that she is not looking for a new partner, saying, There's no new bar because I'm not looking for anybody. Lopez has been focusing on herself after her recent breakup. 2. Jennifer Lopez breaks her silence on Ben Affleck split Jennifer Lopez has opened up about her recent split from Ben Affleck. Describing the experience as sad and scary. In an interview with comedian Nikki Glaser for Interview magazine, she reflected on her need for independence after their divorce which she filed for on August 20th, coinciding with their two-year wedding anniversary. Lopez emphasized the importance of being healthy and complete on her own, admitting she had to rediscover that aspect of herself. Despite the challenges, she expressed no regrets about the relationship, acknowledging that it was a difficult experience but ultimately affirming her strength. 3. Miranda Hart, 51 reveals she broke up with her husband just before he popped the question, as she admits she had always believed her hope for finding love was very, very slim. Miranda Hart has disclosed that she and her husband briefly broke up before he proposed to her in Kew Gardens. In her new book, I Haven't Been Entirely Honest With You, she shares that their relationship faced challenges, leading them to take a break to assess their feelings and the timing of their relationship. Despite the difficulties, they ultimately realized the depth of their feelings for each other. 4. Tommy Fury found himself in hot water as he appeared on Thursdays this morning, in his first TV appearance since his split from his ex fiance Molly Mae Haig. Tommy Fury made his first TV appearance on This Morning following his split from ex fiance Molly Mae Haig. The couple, both 25, ended their relationship this summer, with Molly May expressing surprise at how it concluded. During the interview, Tommy discussed the challenges he has faced recently and promoted his upcoming memoir, Lighting Can Strike Twice. My life as a fury. He addressed allegations of infidelity, denying the claims and stating that he included a chapter in his book to share his feelings and provide updates on his situation. 5. Molly May Haig revealed she went through hell and back, following the birth of her daughter Bambi, as she candidly detailed the dark times she's faced. Molly May Haig shared her struggles after the birth of her daughter Bambi describing her experience as going through hell and back. In a Q&A with her sister Zoe, the former Love Island star, 25, opened up about facing dark times and having a breakdown in the initial weeks of motherhood, admitting she had little experience with babies prior to Bambi's arrival. 6. Is this the real reason for the divorce U-turn? Kanye West and Bianca Sensori orchestrated rumors to create a buzz around his new album after overexploiting her racy outfits Kanye West and Bianca Sensori are rumored to have fabricated divorce. Speculation to generate publicity for Kanye's new album. Reports surfaced that the couple had secretly separated, but they were seen together in Japan shortly after. Sources suggest that the rumors about their nearly two-year marriage were a strategic move to promote Kanye's upcoming album, Bully, 
following the release of Vultures Two Inches in August. 7. Bianca Sensori's parents feel tricked by their daughter who they truly believed was finally leaving Kanye West Bianca Sensori's parents feel deceived after believing she was preparing to leave Kanye West. As reports indicated their marriage was struggling. They were surprised when Bianca and Kanye were seen together in Tokyo, displaying affection, which left her family confused. A source revealed that her parents feel she is being controlled and are shocked by the situation. 8. Lawyer for Killer Kentucky Sheriff reveals the real reason why he shot Judge Dead Sheriff Sean Mickey Steins, 43, is accused of murdering Judge Kevin Mullins, 54. By shooting him eight times in his chambers at the Lecter County Courthouse on September 19. Steins, who has pleaded not guilty and resigned from his position, is claiming that the incident occurred in the heat of passion, according to his defense attorney. The attorney argues that the shooting was not premeditated and suggests that manslaughter charges would be more appropriate due to extreme emotional disturbance. The incident has shocked the small town of Whitesburg, 9. Monster Storm Hurricane Milton left a path of destruction across Florida overnight, Hurricane Milton, a Category 3 storm, caused widespread destruction in Florida, resulting in several fatalities and leaving over 3 million people without power. The storm made landfall around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, bringing catastrophic flooding, 120 miles per hour winds, and numerous tornadoes. It damaged structures, including the roof of Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. Throughout the night, at least 117 tornado warnings were issued. With many tornadoes reported, the Tampa area is now facing potential dangerous flooding due to high tides following the storm's passage. 10. Sky News K. Burley blasted culture secretary Lisa Nandihad enjoyed complimentary tickets to Taylor Swift Sky News K. Burley criticized culture secretary Lisa Nandy for claiming she received complimentary tickets to a Taylor Swift concert, stating, I paid for mine. This exchange occurred during Nandy's appearance on Burla's show where she addressed allegations that the Home Office intervened to provide police escorts for Swift during her London performances. The Metropolitan Police had been hesitant to grant such escorts, typically reserved for high-profile figures. But Home Secretary Yvette Cooper and London Mayor Sadiq Khan reportedly intervened due to security concerns following a failed suicide bomb plot at a Swift concert in Austria. Additionally, 10 senior Labour Party members, including Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer and the London Mayor, were involved in the ongoing controversy.